The breaking news about the coronavirus and the report of the first American to die from the illness. This comes as a cruise ship passenger diagnosed with the virus is speaking out about her ordeal. ABC's Will Carr is in Santa Monica with the latest. Good morning, Will. And Eva, there's still a lot that experts don't understand about this virus, but we're seeing that it can spread quickly in confined spaces like that cruise ship. We're also seeing the death toll jump every single day. This morning, more than 700 people have died from the coronavirus, including the first American. This morning, the first American has died from the coronavirus since the outbreak began. The U.S. Embassy confirms a 60-year-old victim was being treated at a hospital in Wuhan, China. Also this morning, for the first time, we're hearing from an American infected with the virus. Rebecca Frazier tells ABC News that she's among at least a dozen others who have contracted coronavirus on board this cruise ship off the coast of Japan. The ship remains quarantined. The only thing that I was told yesterday when I found out I was quote-unquote diagnosed was that the hospital stay would end up being 14 days instead of the initial three. That's very concerning to me. So far, her husband has tested negative. I'm concerned because my husband is still on the ship, and what is he supposed to do if he's released and I'm not? Overnight, another flight evacuating from the hot zone, carrying Americans from Wuhan, arriving in the U.S., this time at a military base in Nebraska. All 57 passengers will now be quarantined for at least two weeks. This is some evacuees have been split from their families. Frank Wuchinski and his three-year-old daughter are quarantined in California. Frank's wife was forced to stay behind in China because she's not a U.S. citizen. He just found out she's become infected with coronavirus. She had a fever. Um, she had chest x-rays, which show, you know, fluid building up. Um, she's having problems breathing, um, keeping, keeping food down. With that latest flight coming back to the United States, there are now more than a thousand Americans who are quarantined on military bases all across the country. With incredible what they're going through. We'll call her for us. Thank you. We do want to bring in ABC News chief medical correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, joining us from Massachusetts this morning. Dr. Ashton, you've been following all of this very closely. First, I know you've also been speaking with officials at the National Institutes of Health, and I understand you're learning more about the numbers being reported here. Exactly. And it's really important when we hear these numbers, we have to pay attention to the numbers in China and then distinguish that from the numbers here in the U.S. The concern about the numbers in China is that not all people who may be infected or even sick with this novel coronavirus may be able to be tested. So when we hear that number go up 30,000, 32,000, remember there are there are 11 million people in Wuhan, and obviously the Chinese do not have the ability right now to test everyone in that area. So we have to interpret those numbers with caution because they may or may not be accurate. And aside from the uncertainty about the numbers, what are the other challenging aspects of this global health emergency and specifically the ability of countries to work together on this? The biggest thing right now, Witt, is that the CDC has not been allowed inside China and on the ground to evaluate the data and assess the clinical response. We're hoping that will happen any day now. But again, in terms of the response, especially here, the ability to identify and then isolate with quarantine and travel restrictions, while it may not be convenient, is key to containing this outbreak. Absolutely. Dr. Ashton Forrest, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.